Welcome back to Tea For Me Please. My name is Nicole and I'm a tea writer and educator and I'm here to help you learn more about tea. So a few months ago I signed on as a brand ambassador for Tea Runners. Uh, what that means is that they do send me their subscription every month but I'm not paid or compensated in any way so any opinions that I state here on the channel, on my blog, or on my social media are strictly my own. So I first signed on in February um, and I was super excited when I picked this up for my P.O. box. Um, their box design is really super cute, uh, kind of has this like treasure chest um, design to it. Um, when you open it inside, um, it kind of unfolds like this. The tea's not super padded, but I don't feel like it, you know, is in danger of getting crushed at all. Um, let me move the tea just so I can kind of show you um, just how beautiful this box is. Um, I really, really love their packaging. Um, I just think that that's really one of the nicest packages I've seen and also low waste. Like I don't want a ton of styrofoam or packaging that I have to throw out um, and put in a landfill every month. So for this first month, um, the teas that were included, um, I specifically subscribe to the Pure Teas collection. Uh, they do have uh, different options um, and one thing I do like about this um, subscription service is that you can, um, you know, to a certain extent, customize your box where if there is one tea that you happen to not like, you do have the option to change that out for other teas. Um, so first we have a Tongyu Mountain Green Tea um, and that's from Fujian in China. Uh, we have Black Gold Bilo Chun, which is a Yunnan black tea um, that's kind of curly like a green tea Bilo Chun would be. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to pronounce this, but I'll try. We have Kan Chen Jenga Black, uh, which is a Nepalese black tea. Um, and then we have um, Ancient Pour Tocha. Uh, so these are kind of like those little um, single serve bird nest shaped pours. Um, and on each of the bags, it gives information about the tea, uh, the ingredients, where it comes from, um, how, brewing directions, um, as well as the amount of caffeine that's in each tea. Um, I did recently write a blog post on what determines the amount of caffeine in tea, um, so I'll link that up there in case you'd like to check it out. Um, there's definitely some myths about that out there, um, so it's definitely a good one to take a read if you can. Right, so I think I did throw it out from the February box, um, but this is from the March box. Each one does include kind of just a small card uh, with information about their company um, and kind of a letter from the owners, uh, Jewel and Charlie, um, basically just kind of giving us updates on what's happening. So like for March, they're saying how excited they are for the 2021 spring harvest of tea um, and that they recently moved to a bigger warehouse. Um, now, this was completely my fault and not Tea Runners. Um, I had started editing my box and thought it didn't save and I just figured I would go with what they had. Um, but I actually selected to get two of the same tea. I'm totally not mad at it though because it is one of my favorite teas. <laughs> so we have Jalinga Estate Assam. Um, so this is a black tea from India. We have M. Dablam White, which is a Nepalese white tea. And because of my goof, I did get two Golden Monkeys. Um, typically that is a tea from Fujian, uh, but this one is from Yunnan. So it will be interesting to see what these taste like. Um, I do think we're gonna taste this on Husband Tea Torture because I think it's one that Jason's gonna like. And I just picked up the April box from my P.O. box yesterday. I was so mad because I threw up my back and I could not get there to pick it up um, for a whole week. So just knowing it was sitting there waiting for me was kind of annoying. Um, but I'm feeling better and I have the tea, so all is well. Um, so in this one, we have um, White Pearls. It's a white tea from Fujian. We have Jade Spring, which is a green tea from Fujian. We have Nepalese Ruby Black Tea, uh, which is from Nepal, obviously. Um, and then we also have Imperial Grade Golden Bud uh, from Yunnan. Um, this is one of my favorite types of Yunnan Black Tea. It's nice and really, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but they're like super golden uh, curly needles. Um, so those are always a good tea in my book. Um, so those are my first three months. 
Uh, so far, I am very happy with the teas that I've gotten. Um, they're very high quality. Um, they're definitely, I really like the flexibility of being able to customize if I want to, and that there's a pure tea option. Not that flavored teas or blended teas are bad, or herbal teas, they're just not something I'm into. So for that reason, I don't participate in a lot of subscription services because I feel like they don't necessarily offer what I'm looking for. Let me know in the comments if you've tried Tea Runners and what you thought of it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.